Also, I'm bringing you too, so come on, let's go. We're gonna, I'm just go ahead and take you. Okay, we're gonna go with my bag. <laughs> insulation
so it's actually the rod is actually not long enough so I have to get a longer rod that's just great cuz I thought I was really failing when I was putting the um, the anchors in and the screws in because they're 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 like studs at the top because so I was trying to go as high as I can but there's studs at the top that won't let me go through with a screwdriver or with the drill I'm sorry and so I went down I think about like maybe like an inch or two or two inches so as you can see it's just not long enough if I put it pull it a little bit longer it's just gonna break apart so <sighs> so I have to get another one y'all <laughs> Um, so today is actually the next day I had to leave to go to my parents house to celebrate Christmas so I'm finally back home I just have to uh, finish packing I am going to Ghana um, I don't want to talk too much about my trip I think I definitely want to share that into my next vlog and kind of take you with my experience I'm gonna be there for about two weeks so I'm going to finish cleaning I still need to finish the kitchen dining room area i think my office is okay um but i definitely need to wash clothes and um with the packing i need to make sure that i have um more than enough stuff for the trip because i am going to be gone for about two weeks i also got my lashes done yeah i decided to do something special for god so i got my eyelashes done and I got my nails done. I think they're cute. I was kind of go for maybe like a bold color, but I really like this so much because it's something I've never done before. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get started back cleaning, packing, and yeah. <laughs>
So right now I am packing for my trip to Ghana. Sorry if I feel breathing is because I've been cleaning and cleaning is a workout. I don't care what nobody say. Is there a light in here? Like, do you guys need more light? Let's see. Sorry. Um, so I'm packing right now. I kind of already started packing, but um, I have some stuff with me. Um, oh crap, I have my bag is about to come out I have some cute going out clothes I have a lot of going out clothes I don't think I have a problem with that just, those sandals these are the Hermes dupe from Steve Madden so I got these I do have some like hats and stuff I got my LA hat and this is a regular like hat that I um, forgot the name of it but this is another hat that I wear just in case it rains or too bright outside I can just put that on um, I am bringing heels. Um, somebody recommended to do the block heels, so I got these pair. I got another pair with their actual heel heels. I don't wear a lot of block heels. They're just not my favorite type of heels. I'm more of like a stiletto girl, but um, I'm bringing these because I've heard when you go to like to the parties or you know to the nightclubs, um, the places tend to be kind of like outside in the grass or. Um, in dirt so you kind of want something that can like hold it or you won't be sinking in so much so um, I got these um, I got some bags some cute little like bags um, I got this from Shein but uh, I need some like a cute little bag that I can kind of take with me um, so I'm bringing this bag there's some other bags I'm probably taking I'm probably gonna take my Telfar olive bag this is my bag full of swimsuits. So I have about, about three swimsuits. I know we're gonna go to Bojo Beach, but I wanna, bring, I wanna have options. So I'm bringing like three or four of these bad boys. So I think I'm gonna bring that. I do have my Renaissance Beyonce. I thought it was so cute. I'm gonna wear this at night because it's really big. I bought it and I was thinking like, they were like in women's sizes, but I think they're a unisex size. So I end up getting a larger size compared to what I thought it was gonna be. So I'm just gonna sleep in this. A travel adapter for Ghana because they use, I think they use the UK, they have the UK outlets, but this one's actually pretty good because it has all of the uh, adapters for pretty much all over the world. So don't just buy for a particular country. I just went ahead and just bought this. This is on Amazon. Um, I forgot how much it costs, but I will put the link um, below. It's one of those things that you put on your uh, hotel door, just in case somebody try to come into your, um, your hotel room. So this is just for uh, safety reasons. Um, so I ended up getting this and it didn't cost that much. I think it was maybe like, it was less than $10 for sure. So I would, so somebody definitely recommended this. So I'm definitely going to use this. Um, walking around and exploring. So I definitely want to bring like some form of um, comfortable clothes. So I'm definitely going to bring that. But I'll probably share some of my clothes in my actual vlog for Ghana so you guys can see what I'm actually bringing. Um, can't forget this, y'all. Going to Ghana is it's essential. Um, so it's kind of... Yeah. Also, let me show you the books that I plan on reading on the plane because it's going to be a long flight. So let me show you that. These books, I'm late, I'm late to the game, but I've heard about this book, I have heard about this book for years, I just never got it. But of course is the I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jenna, Jeanette McCarthy. And of course I heard good things about this book. So um, I'm definitely gonna read it. Um, this one's called Crying in H Mart. This is another book that was personally recommended by one of my coworkers, um, when I went to um, the orientation in Dallas, she told me about this book. And so um, I'm definitely going to um, explore in this book because 
and then also another thing i'm definitely going to step my reading game up i think i finish <laughs> by the end of this year i hope that i finish at least three books i finished one book but i said i was gonna read five books this year and i did not so that's like shame on me but 2024 oh i'm gonna be on my book reading game and i'm gonna put y'all on some really good books that i read and i would definitely give you my honest reviews don't get me wrong i'm one of those people where it's like if it bores me i dread reading it i'm probably not gonna read it ever i'm probably gonna give away that book i just yeah i i i like books that i can just completely be in tune to from the first page to the end of the page and i read some really good books that are like that but um recently well not recently but some of the books that i have read it wasn't all that much of a page turner but there are some good books that i did read um in 2022 that were really good and yeah so i'm definitely going to step my reading game up because yeah that's just just so i'm definitely one of those girls that love to read it's just that you know life happens or i get involved into other activities and other hobbies and i travel more and all this other stuff so I definitely want to get back into my sense of childhood and and read and and kind of be in sort of a, an escapism or living in sort of a delusional life i'm positively delusional don't that's one of my personalities i am positively delusional 